guys, and welcome back to some Infinite Magic Raid. So in today's video, global release finally happened, guys. We had been waiting for this. September 7th is the global release. It is up right now. You can download it. Today, we're going to be looking at the Space Temple in the very first dungeon, guys, which is the Volcano Expedition. Um, this is a very cool game mode. You can see going through here, it is like a 3D epic adventure. You can see it does use the hexagons to move around in here. There are a couple different camps in here that you have to fight. And of course, the story between the Lord that is in here. I'm hoping that we can light the, the um, as you see right here, the, the braziers. And then also using the golem contraptions and also a spring of life if we lose any of our heroes. This one kind of tells you exactly what to do. So lighting these braziers to light the path. Now we do have to fight battles in here, guys. Uh, make sure I've leveled up my team considerably, as you can see. We're going to go ahead. We're going to battle in here. Um, this doesn't seem incredibly complex to get through here, but I'm sure these are going to get a lot more complex. We've also started in, we have our, the, the two idiots, so they're talking through here. Um, we do have it on four times speed. There's the brazier. We want to make sure we light it. And there you go. The golem disappeared. Pick up our chest. Boom, there we go. Now this is what we're looking for, guys. These excellent runes are exactly what we're looking for. Um, everyone that we're getting out of here, we can actually summon additional heroes. As you can see, I finally got my first legendary hero out of here. And again, we're probably about two hours into global release. I'm in, um, I believe, stage five right now when it comes to the campaign, but leveling up your heroes in here are super, super important, which is the reason I've been focusing kind of power leveling through here. Um, to try to make progression. I've also unlocked the PvP aspect of the game as well. So again, we're making some pretty good progression in here. You can see, guys, the enemies on the stage are only a level 20. I have some at 60 and 80, some low 20s. I focused on building up. This was actually the first hero I got. That's why he's on level 80. Focus all my potions in there. Um, maybe not the best hero to put all your potions in, but ultimately it is well worth it because, hey, He's carried me this far, and again, we're super, super early into this game, guys. But subscribe to the channel because I am going to be covering this. I tested this. I, I actually tested this when it came out, um, and it's a very, very cool game, guys. I, I'm definitely getting into it, making a lot more progression in here. As you can see, we have a test server account, which now we're on the global, so you can actually join me. I'm going to make a guild once we get to the point of unlocking guilds which I believe is the end of stage five or maybe six. Um, I am going to make a guild on here. That way, again, you guys can join me. We've done this with previous games. Um, I absolutely want to. You can see that we have uh, another brazier back here. But another chest. So we're going to get in total five summons out of this, guys. I, I think there's five or six summons in here. Um, last chest might be a little bit higher, but ultimately... This is the, the dungeon aspect of here, and there's multiple, multiple dungeons in here, which is very cool to see. So there we go. This one actually brings heroes back if they have died, and this one will see, um, get some more HP for our heroes. So it looks like we have just a couple more battles in here, and as we continue to progress, as we continue to unlock this game, we actually have a tier list. Um, Valen, or Val, Valiant, I think his name is. Um, not the best hero that we should have got off the bat, but ultimately, there we go, guys. The golem goes down right there. A couple more battles, and then we'll have that final chest, and the first dungeon within Infinite Magic Raid will be complete. Wave one, we start with some burn. And I like it's only one battle, guys. You don't have multiple formations getting through here. We go, got some more summons. One, two, looks like three more battles, guys, and this is clear. Um, one of the battles is going to be the boss. That's what I'm waiting to see, guys, is what is the boss going to look like in here. Again, with the point that you unlock this, you should have no problem getting through here. Um, make sure you're setting your team. I bring a healer. This is actually Eden. Um, she is incredibly, incredibly good at healing. So I would absolutely recommend getting her out, guys. I actually just put her to five stars. Um, use some of the fodder heroes or some of the food that I've gotten in here to get her up to five stars just because she is such a strong healer um, and could possibly be the only one I get for a while. And here is Lucifer, guys. Now, Lucifer, you can see the 3D model right here. 
Lucifer is by far the strongest hero they have said within this game. I haven't had the opportunity to actually unlock any of the mythic heroes at this point. Um, they require 100 shards, but he is, everybody has said, super broken. I, I'm hoping that's not the case in here, which it looks like he's just killing my heroes. Like they're absolutely nothing. But I'm hoping we can, yeah, we got this one. I was going to say, I hope he's not super um, devastating to the team, but there we go. We got him. We'll pick up a chest right here, which again gives us a four-star dragon. This is what you use to upgrade from four stars to five stars. We did get five of our uh, learning is to give up. Let's move on. Oh, we have to give up to, to get rid of that piece. Boom. There's our last chest, guys. They're tough. They're no match for us. Stop laughing. Take the treasure and run, fools. That is the completion of Victory, the Volcanic Expedition. Um, so six of six chests out of there. So it is completely clear, guys. And we can do another summon. Again, this is kind of the focus within the game right now, guys. Doing the wishes, trying to get as many summons as I can. So it did give me 10. You can see 91 more for a second legendary hero. Or we could get lucky and we could pull a legendary hero right here. Boom, we got an elite hero. We got two. Look at that, guys. He is very cool looking. They're, they're actually both pretty cool looking. 81 more, guys, and it will be a legendary hero. And, of course, the refined wish, guys. This is the fodder heroes. This is the food you're going to use in here. Sometimes you get some epic heroes. Most of the time, it's this. You, you get ones and twos. But, again, the ones and twos are the, one, are the um, heroes that you're actually going to build up over time. So quick craft, do not consume the um, epic heroes, not at this point, guys, but there it gives us a four, two level four heroes. And then seeing what we can build, we could build him up to level five, but again, that's going to consume two of our elite um, four-star heroes. Absolutely, guys, I do not want to do that. That is the reason why we turn this off. We do not want to consume our epic heroes um, until we really go through here, figure out what epic heroes are going to be the best. For progression, you can also see up here, guys, we do have the eggs um, that will allow us to go ahead and build the heroes. We're continuing through here, collection quest, um, epic heroes and above. So we got some collection quest points um, to get some more summons out of here. And of course, making wishes, guys, they continue to give us more diamonds out of the wishes. Now, the only thing that I found to utilize my diamonds for um, is actually buying out these excellent runes. I bought this one a little bit ago. Um, it, it's the same price, but I am just buying out these these runes to get more heroes. And then I'm on positive, guys, advanced skill scrolls. Now, it takes 10 of these basic scrolls to make one advanced one. As you can see, the cost, this goes for legendary heroes. This one goes for the epic heroes. Um, so ultimately, guys, it seems like summons and these scrolls are going to be the two biggest things to buy in here as we continue through this game. All right, guys, so that'll do it. That is our first dungeon completely clear. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.